Hello guys, in this video I will guide you on how to remove forgotten password, pin or pattern on Samsung phone. This is going to work for any Samsung Galaxy phone you have and the process is quite simple. First things first, you want to put your Samsung phone on recovery mode which will actually delete all of the data and information including your forgotten password or pin and the way you do that is to simply just turn off your Samsung phone first and foremost but you cannot turn off your phone while the password is still on or the pin or the pattern because once you click on the power off button and then just click on power off you'll be required to enter your password again or a simple trick that will help us get around this is to simply use a usb cable just like this one you can connect one end of the usb cable to your laptop or pc and then you want to connect the other end of the usb cable to your samsung phone just like so now once you see the charging logo at the bottom of your Samsung phone, the next thing you want to do is to now press on some key combination to force the phone to turn off. So you want to long press on the power button and the volume down button until it turns off and then once the phone turns off, you want to move your hand from the volume down button to the volume up button. So we are going to do that together. First of all, tap on the screen to you know bring up the light on the screen. And then you now want to long press on the power button and the volume down button simultaneously for some seconds. And once it turns off, you want to move your hand to the volume up button while still pressing on the power button now, just like so. Once you see the Samsung logo, you remove your hand from the power button while still pressing on the volume up button. Now remove your hand from the power button while still pressing on the volume up button. Give it some few seconds now and your Samsung phone should enter recovery mode. Now what you want to do at this point is to use the volume up and volume down button to navigate to where we have the wipe data and factory reset option over here. Go ahead and select that with the power button. Now you want to scroll down again to the factory data reset with the volume down button and then you select with the power button. Now this is just going to wipe out everything on your Samsung phone including your forgotten password, pin or pattern. Now what you want to do is to select on the reboot system now option over here. So click on the power button to select that. And then you just want to give your Samsung phone some few minutes to properly set up now. Basically the phone is going to restart itself and come as though it is brand new. And just like so, we are now back to the initial setup page of the Samsung phone. Keep in mind that if you have signed into your Google account or your Gmail on your Samsung phone previously, during the setup process, you will be required to enter that same Google account or Gmail. However, if you did not sign into your Google account or Gmail before, you won't be required to enter any Google account or Gmail. You can just set up the phone without any problem. Whichever is the case, you want to just click on the start button to properly set up the phone again. And now you want to agree to the terms and conditions and then click on the agree button over here. You can go ahead and skip this setup with other device by simply just selecting the manual setup option. And now you'll be required to connect to your Wi-Fi or hotspot network. So click on OK and then select your Wi-Fi or hotspot network. Go ahead and enter your Wi-Fi password. Once you're done, you want to click on the connect button over here. Now this next step is actually very important because you'll be required to now enter your PIN, password or pattern but obviously we don't have that because we can't remember that. So instead of entering your password or PIN or pattern, you can just go ahead and select the use my Google account instead option over here. Just click on that. Since I have my Google account signed in before, I'll just go ahead and enter my Google account or my Gmail. Once you're done, click on the next button over here. And then you just want to go ahead and enter your password as well. Once you're done entering your password, you want to click on the next button at the bottom over here. Now you have the option to enter a new Gmail or Google account into your Samsung phone. You can as well go ahead and skip that if you don't want to add or impute any other Gmail account. Also, you can choose to enter your old Google account or Gmail. In my case, I'll go ahead and enter my old Google account. That is the same as the previously signed in one. Click on the next button over here and then proceed to enter the password of your new Google account. And then finally, once you're done, click on the next button over here. Now go ahead and click on the I agree. At this point, you can now follow all of the on-screen instructions to complete the setup process. So you can choose to copy app from your Google account. If you don't want that, you can click on the don't copy over here and then just click on next. Also, you will be asked whether you want to enter a new password, pin or pattern for your Samsung phone. And if you don't also want the pin, you can choose not to enter a new pin and just skip this whole process. In my case, I entered my pin, so I'll just continue with that. Now just go ahead and click on the more button over here, click on accept. If you want backup, you can go ahead and turn it on 
other than that you want to click on the don't backup option over here i'll go ahead and turn on mine then just click on the more button over here click on i agree if you have your samsung account you can proceed to sign into your samsung account this is not a necessary thing so you can click on the forgot password or don't have an account option over here and then just keep it by clicking on the setup letter in settings or just create an account immediately if you want i'll go ahead and skip this and then just scroll down click on skip now click on the more button and then click on all so you agree to all of the samsung service legal information and then just click on agree click on agree again now you want to choose your team so the light team or the dark team i will go with the light team and click on the next button from over here and then we have now successfully set up our samsung phone and removed the forgotten password pin or pattern on the phone if you find this video useful please make sure you smash the like button and subscribe to this youtube channel guys